There is some very circumstantial evidence that at least points toward supersymmetry. And the evidence goes like this. When we measure the strengths of the electromagnetic force and the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force, when we measure their strengths at ordinary energy scales that, say, are accessible to a garden variety accelerator, the strengths of those forces are all different. But what we can also do is we can extrapolate and determine what the strengths of those forces would look like in conditions closer to the Big Bang, highly energetic, high temperature conditions. And what we find is the strengths of the three forces appear to converge as we go to higher energies, higher temperatures. We like that. It suggests that forces maybe are all the same force that just looks different at ordinary scales, but actually unite in more extreme circumstances. But the thing is, if you do it very precisely, the three forces almost converge to the same strength, but not quite without supersymmetry. When you add supersymmetry to the equations, the three force strengths all meet at a point. They all come together. That doesn't mean supersymmetry is right, but the near miss without supersymmetry and the exact hit with supersymmetry suggests to some that supersymmetry really is at work in the universe.